All right, great. Um, welcome to the 2017 edition of CC 125. Uh, thank you very much for being able to come out for, for the demos and uh, being able to see what all the students have been working incredibly hard on all the way up until the very last minute, it turns out. <laughs> um, so um, if you've never been to the demos before, the way it's going to work is I'm, I'm just going to give an overview of the class to give you a sense of, of what the class is trying to achieve and, and what the students are able to do and where they're coming from. And then um, after I'm done, uh, we'll just go through each of the groups and the groups will be able to explain the games that they set out to uh, design and implement this quarter and then um, give a demo and we'll actually ask for volunteers from the audience to, to come play as well. Um, and, you know, unlike other classes, um, this actually forms essentially their final exam. It's very scary when your final exam is in front of hundreds of people stream live on the internet. Okay, so let me tell you a little bit about what, uh, what we're trying to achieve with the course. So, um, at a very high level, what I want the students to be able to experience, it's, it's a very different kind of course than other computer science courses, because I want them to experience what it's like to work on and in very intense project. Uh, we're on the quarter system, we only have 10 weeks, um, but you know, with 10 weeks you can actually do a lot um, and, um, and I want them to shoot really, really high and as you'll see they, they definitely have done that. And then I also want them to experience what it's like working in, in a large group. They've worked on group projects before but nothing like this where you're working with five or six other people at the same time and you're depending upon them and everybody's depending upon each other. You know, maybe it's not quite as many people up on the screen, but sometimes it does feel like that. And then I want them to experience what it's like to work on a very complex project that has real-time high-performance requirements. Not something that you just run in the background, but it has to be interactive because um, that makes it super challenging. And from my perspective, where I'm coming from, what I want the students to be able to learn as a result of, of doing the projects in this class is what it's like to design and implement a distributed system um, where you have multiple nodes, um, it's <coughs> real time, and everything has to work and all of these machines have to cooperate with each other to make everything work out. And that winds up being a very, very challenging problem. And so that's what I want the students to learn. To make the, the class fun, the actual distributed system that they implement is a game, a multiplayer interactive game. So the students think that they're building games and I, I'm thinking that they're building distributed systems and both sides uh, work out well as a result. And um, one thing that I, I really want you to keep in mind once we get to the demo portion is that everything that you're seeing the students presenting is from them. Every, all of the creativity, all of the code, everything that they, they've done, it, it is call, coming all from them. And uh, what's, it's amazing every year what the students are able to come up with, and it's going to be a lot of fun to, to go through all of the projects. You know, often um, when I talk about this course, I'm asked, well, do you, you know, it's, it's pretty challenging to be able to do this in 10 weeks. Do you provide something for the students to start with? And it turns out I do. You know, it's... <laughs> It's a little bit of starter code for them to get going. And then they say, well, you know, how much detail do you provide in the assignment? And I say, look, I, I, ex I make it very, very explicit what it is they have to accomplish. <laughs> and after this, they're off to the races. And it turns out that one of the groups this year um, did their entire implementation in JavaScript. No problem, I have them covered as well. <laughs> so, what I want to do is, is give a little bit of a sort of a sense of what it's like to, to go through the weeks of the quarter um, from my perspective um, as we go through the course. And, um, you know, at the beginning, everybody's happy, having a lot of fun. This is going to be, this is going to be really great, no problems at all. Um, everybody gets started uh, making progress on development, you know, midway through the quarter, things are going well. And uh, um, one of the things that that I do with all of the groups is I ask them um, that they, every student in the course, every week has to fill out essentially a developer diary, a report of what it is that they've worked on during the week, what problems they had, what they learned, and what they're going to be doing uh, um, next week as well. 
And from an instructor's viewpoint, um, what's really great about these reports is it gives you a little insight into actually what's going on inside the students' heads, which can be very interesting um, over time. So, you know, you'll see that, you know, the um, students set high goals for themselves implementing the animation systems, and sometimes they run into to trouble when they're trying to do it. Um, <laughs> and uh, there, you know, there are life lessons, uh, t life lessons to be learned as well. So, you know, we, we try to keep everybody healthy, but unfortunately, um, it doesn't always work out that well. And then, you know, from my perspective, I'm, I'm reading the reports from all of the students every week, and after a while, you start to detect some themes. Like, for example, well, you know, math can be hard, and then turns out that games can be hard, and then, you know, it only took four years for them to realize that actually school is hard as well. And then um, at the very end, there's a little bit of sort of hope and pleading that happens that, um, you know, the moment has arrived and hopefully everything is going to work out. And I really hope everything is going to work out. Okay. Now, one of the, one of the favorite things about teaching this course is seeing what happens in sort of, you know, from beginning to end. Because the, um, the students are really starting from scratch. And, you know, at the, at the very beginning of the quarter, they're sort of coming up with ideas and trying to imagine what it is they want their game to be like. Um, and so I asked them to do some concept art and some initial art to try to get a sense for how everything is working. And then, as the weeks go by, you know, progress, 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 and then towards the end, actually, what they've done is absolutely incredible. It's just truly amazing what they're able to accomplish. Um, it's just um, really, really impressive to see. And then, of course, um, you know, the reason why we have deadlines is so that uh, um, we can get everything finished. And you know, in the lab yesterday, everybody was working really hard. It was great to see everybody um, um, together in the lab working. And then um, you know, late last night, I came back to the lab with donuts just to give them the, the few final calories to be able to do the final push. Um, and, you know, you, you see the full gamut. You see a little bit of, you know, what's going to happen. And what I love about this, this picture is that it's a still. Um, Spencer is the one who's collapsed on his keyboard, but he was actually typing. <laughs> he was typing for at least a minute with his head down in t into his shirt. I don't, I don't know what kind of code was produced as a result, but I got to admit, that was really impressive. And at the same time, um, other groups are are there, it's really late, um, but they're having a great time playing their game. And that's, to me, that's, that's what I know everything is gonna work out really well, is when they're having fun. And, you know, I've done this course many years, and I've seen sort of the cycles, and one of the things I really caution the students is, you know, it seems like there's a lot of time between Thursday night and Friday afternoon, but, you know, to try to create something that, before they go to bed the night before, that is very, very stable. Um, and so when I left the lab last night, there were actually just a couple of groups around and everything seemed to be going well. So I went home, slept well myself, everything's gonna work out great. Come in early in the morning, the lab's empty, which is usually a very good sign. Um, you know, maybe Kevin was actually asleep. Um, and then we got everything set up and I was waiting for the students to, to test, test run everything and, and nobody was there. I was like, well, what's going on? Then go down in the lab two hours before the demos. Everybody's scrambling around getting everything to work. But in the end, this actually does happen all the time, um, and um, everything does work in the end. Okay, um, I just want to end with some acknowledgments. Uh, so uh, what's great about the course and being at UCSD is there are a lot of people who provide a lot of support uh, for putting on courses like this. So Danny and Sally and ACMS were incredibly helpful in getting the, the lab software and hardware and accounts all installed. Glenn and Matt in CSE helped out with um, um, getting all these demo machines working, and then a whole bunch of folks here at Cal IT, Yuki, Joel, Hector, Alex, and Anna are always very helpful every year in being able to support uh, this event. I really appreciate it. And I also try to have folks from the games industry come and, and give, um, give guest lectures in the course, and so I, I do want to thank uh, Jerome Coe, Robert Dunlap, and uh, Russ Patterson 
for being able to come and, and speak to the students. It's, it's always hugely valuable for them to, to hear from folks who have, who have lived through this. And then I also want to uh, call out Ray Ching and thank him very much for all of the help that he's given the students in the lab. Um, he answers actually all the hard questions. Um, anybody, anytime students have something that I can't figure out, I just point them at Ray Ching. So thanks a lot, Ray Ching. <laughs>